Hi, I'm John from 9.8, and I'm going to show you how to install a fall line seat post on your bike. First step is going to be to figure out your cable run, and depending on your bike, that might be the most difficult portion of the install. So we'll start out uh, with your cable housing and uh, routing that through your frame. So feed your cable housing through your frame until it comes out the seat tube. Feed it through. Install the remote end into the barrel adjuster on your remote. Keep feeding your housing through. And make sure that you've still got enough housing for full articulation here. And when you've got that right, you want about six inches above the seat tube, and we're just going to cut it off there. Now you want to take your Quick Connect assembly, and uh, before you do anything with this, take a good look at it. It's assembled basically the same way that you're going to have to reassemble it. Uh, this is your cable seal nut. This is very important. Don't forget to install this on your piece of cable housing before you thread anything on. Now you're left with the, uh, the connector body and the T-nut and this piece of scrap cable housing here. Hold your T-nut and unthread the T-nut from your piece of cable housing and you can throw that away. You're, now you've got your T-nut and the uh, connector body and in exactly the same way you're going to have to Pass your cable housing through the body and thread onto the T-nut. You may need uh, pliers to grab onto the uh, cable housing. And uh, just make sure that that is threaded on securely until it bottoms. But your cable housing is only rough cut to length. Um, Next, you're going to want to install your seat post uh, to fine tune that housing length. Slide the cable seal nut down. And your uh, quick connect body is going to go up inside the seat post, and you need to spin the seat post onto the quick connector body. And then your cable seal nut, you can slide that up and thread that in. You can slide your seat post down into the seat tube and feed your, uh, your cable housing back through. Set your seat, seat post height. And what you're left with up front is a big, ugly loop of housing. So that's uh, unhook that from the remote, and uh, we're going to trim that to get our final length. So to get that final length, again, be conscious of your handlebar rotation. So for me, the tightest direction was this way. I'm going to kind of eye that up. And that looks about right, right there. You can take your cable housing ferrule, install that on the end of your cable housing. Now we need to pop the seat post back out again. So unthread your cable seal nut. and then spin your post off the quick connect. Next, you're going to have to remove your carefully positioned remote so that we've got sufficient slack to install the cable. Drop that on to your cable housing. Uh, your barrel adjuster should be somewhere between all the way in to about a, a turn out. Um, and then we're going to take our shifter cable and feed it through. So you can feed the, feed the cable through until it comes out on that side. Feed it through the quick connector and just pull that all the way through 
make sure that the cable stop is fully seated in the remote. Now, this is a crucial step. We need to position the T-nut so that it is at the halfway mark in the, in the slot. Um, and then we'll tighten our uh, two cable clamp screws here. That'll be a two millimeter. And you want to tighten these, make sure that they're tightened from both sides such that the set screws do not protrude. So just wind them in a little bit from each side. And when you're just a little bit snug, just check your position again and make sure that you're at the, uh, the halfway mark before you tighten these up. That's about right there. And that's nice and tight. And if you run your fingers along the outside, those set screws are not sticking out. So this cable has got to be cut off pretty tight to the top of the, uh, the quick connect. So before you cut the cable, just do a double check and make sure that you're in position and everything's good. So this looks good, so I'm going to snip it off. You can reinstall your post just like before. Quick connect goes in the bottom and you can spin your post onto the quick connect. Then your cable seal nut threads up into the bottom. You can slide the post into the seat tube. And now you can reinstall your remote. With your remote secured, the last thing you need to do is make sure that you've got some free play uh, all the way through the stroke. Uh, if you don't have any free play, you're going to find that the seat post won't lock in position. So it's very important to, uh, to have at least a little, a little bit of free play. So to adjust the free play, just uh, turn the barrel adjuster at the remote. And that seems good. You're done.